Ifrit had jumped out on top early and never looked back against Wapato. The Tigers were looking for back-to-back -back conference wins after knocking off Sela on the road. Colin Allman got the Tigers on the board first with an 11-yard quarterback keeper for a score. Off and run it. He's got plenty of room, and it looks like he'll take it in for six. Nice shifty move by Colin Allman. Tyler Lutz then broke a big carry for Defreda, rushing 35 yards for the touchdown. To the right, Lutz makes a nice cut, gets around the edge, and he's going to take that all the way into the end zone. What a nice little run. Defreda took advantage of three first quarter takeaways as Jacob Firestone put Defreda on top 20 to 0 with a one yard touchdown run. Things got tricky when Zach Berryman muffed the snap on the ensuing PAT attempt, but he was able to find Dylan here for the two-point conversion. Two-point conversions, scrambling around, got a receiver. And does he get in? He does. Wow. <laughs> look at there, look at there. In the second half, the Tigers continued to dominate. Colin Allman broke loose for a 28-yard touchdown, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Almond then came right back, hooking up with receiver Jacob Oxus for a 30-yard touchdown. Got a receiver wide open over the middle. That's six points. Beautiful. The Wolves finally got on the board in the third quarter when quarterback Romeo Cohen's found receiver Dewan Davis for a 30-yard touchdown. But it was too little, too late for Wapato as he fretted and knocked off the Wolves 45-14. Colin Almond was the leading rusher for the Tigers with five carries for 73 yards and two touchdowns. Jacob Oxus had two catches for 39 yards and a score. The Tigers hit the road this Friday for a tough game at Prosser. For Fabro One News, Sean Wells.